he came in he woke me up and said he wants me to have him a coffee i brought him the coffee and then he pushed me to the branch hi everyone welcome on board to helper.tv welcome once again to this platform if you've been on this channel probably you will know about the story but if you are new to this channel or you cannot simply remember let me put you up to speed a doctor who was kicked out of the united kingdom in fact he kicked himself out before he could be eventually arrested he changed his name in nigeria and continued with his practice this is a man who has had allegations of pedophile he has had allegation of molesting attached to him he came to nigeria and he started practicing the same calling that he has he has his calling to molest women calling from the kingdom of darkness i'm talking about dr mr femi olaleye as his practice somewhere in lagos mainland he will often record women whilst he's there doing all sort of terrible things he has bragged that he belongs to some secret society of bonides confraternity that he, he has boasted and he believes that he's insulated and there's nothing that can touch him but unfortunately mr bola bola is so new mr femi olaleye presently cooling his feet in prison he was dragged to the court and you'll be wondering how did this come out did any of his victim report him no 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 you know they say charity begins at home it is his own wife that decided to whip him his wife said look enough is enough i've been going through this you know when you came back from the uk people thought you know maybe they are just racist and they are hostile they don't like you you know those stories are very easy to accept but right now this new one can see that this dr Leke is really a child of the devil and to make matters worse his mother is in support challenging his son's wife saying is my son the only person that has done it what has he even done let us quickly listen to what doctor's mother has to say about this you'll be shocked i do know that mothers often will support their child but what she said about femiola and the maid or whatever relative or no relative what she said will shock you is he the only one that has done this why do you want to bring him down emi o ni gba fun e olode ni je ko se se fun e re mi loruko jesus ko ni se se fun e omo mi wa ba mi nile o de so ru ele jade lenu so fun mi pe to fodo kan atabo so to ba fun iru kan ba sele se 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 the best ni pe ki wo so pe ko omo mi ku omo mi o ni ku o iwo n to gbe lo ma ka iru gbe to fun ah you know this doctor anything that he sees is slaughters if you come to his clinic he must slaughter you that is how it is what is he using to slaughter these women who knows he will even record all of these escapades keep it for himself put it on computer if the case gets to a point where he can't handle sometimes, they say he will just give some people some stipend or maybe threaten them with death. His wife said enough is enough when the shoe that she's wearing started itching out, when she started feeling the pain. That is because she brought a young girl, a young lady, I think she's about 14, 13, 14, from the village or somewhere to live with them. She claimed that the child, this young girl, is a uh, um, niece and that uh, she is not what Dr. Leke and her mother are saying. They say, after all, she's not your family member. 
I don't know how people are so wicked. You know, when we keep talking of corruption, 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 people do not understand that it starts from wickedness. You see, wickedness is the father of every of these problems that we have in Nigeria. I'm not saying that Africa or Nigeria is only, they are the only wicked, but when there are no rules to curtail wickedness, a lot of terrible things will happen. The mother said, uh, after all, is a lie. And not just that alone, one woman also who has put herself there as an activist. She was there when Sylvester died, the young boy who died in one of the private schools there on the island, Lagos Island, Nigeria. She was fronting, you know, saying a lot of things. She has always been, you know, there, putting her face all over wherever there is anything to protest. But this time around, we realize that she is siding, backing Dr. Pedophile, Dr. Bola. You know, she she's just there. Now, this case became so big in Nigeria that it was brought on one of the talk show where some ladies, you know, um, and do talks in Nigeria. I don't want to mention the channel. They talked about it and immediately this so-called activist, she called in and the story changed. The story turned around. A man that has had several series. In fact, this man is a serial pedophile, serial molester, everything that you can think of. She, he, he, she, she decided to report him when she found out what he has done to get a man like this who is very you know kind of slippery you need to have hard evidence so what the wife did was to look for people to hack her husband's computer and when they did oh my god what dr Lake's wife found is humongous i mean there were so many videos of women that he has molested, he has blackmailed, they are evil, uh, some evil, it, it's so much dirt. When she saw it, she's like, what? No, this marriage must come to an end. I am living with the devil. This man can end up killing me. He might get some diseases somewhere. Something is going to happen. We cannot be like this. If it is just one, and the, the, the funniest of it is that this man, is a minister in RCCG. She's seen wearing the suit and everything. You'll be like, what? But I'm not trying to say things about RCCG. It can be anywhere. Um, you know, Judas Iscariot also was a disciple of Jesus Christ. So I'm not trying to say something about RCCG um, to say, oh, the church has a pedophile. No, that's not what it is. I'm just trying to tell you that this man is someone who is close to the world. I mean, doctrines, preachings, it's not like just one gangster on the street who has never had some moral teachings, you know, fear of God, etc. This is someone who will speak in tongue. He's a medical doctor. He'll be well respected in his parish. He has money. And this Oboni stroke, whatever lodge, Freemason, he's into all of these things. Probably things that judging, jo joining this will open doors for him, maybe somewhere in Nigeria or when he was born. This is leading him into prison. This is the day of judgment for wicked people. Wicked people like Dr. Doc, Dr. Bola Isonu, Dr. Uh, come to my hospital, come to clean. In fact, Kate Enshaw got on this story and according to her, she said that this man lied and said, oh, I do not have a wife. My wife is this and that. This is a man who goes around talking. You know, there are people who are... This, 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 this is a man who is not normal. Imagine how many of them we have all over. Gynecologist. Once you go to their clinic, they try to assess your wife. Some of them will even go to do some illegal abortion. And before they do it, they will even want to have some sexual contact with the lady. It's serious. So this story broke out and since uh, certain individuals try to cover it up, you know, this lover jumped on it. Several platforms jump on it. And we have it here too. This lover also posted videos and pictures because that is the only way. You cannot fight social media. It is not possible. 
They try to cover it up. They try to use their organized uh, media to cover it up, to change the narrative. But unfortunately, that did not work. Mr. was dragged to the court. Dr. Dr. Bola. Some people even complained um, that uh, if you go to his clinic, he gives them you know prescription and diagnoses that are not even right. How can how this kind of human being, you know, it's so terrible. It's so terrible. So, Mr. Dr. Bola is cooling his feet in prison. We hope he stays there and they don't give him preferential treatment. You know, that's how it works. Um, initially, they wanted to grant him bail. Uh, he had to pay like 50 million naira and bring shorties, you know, etc. like that. But Mr. Bola, Mr. Bola must be dealt with. This will be a lesson to all of these pedophile people who take advantage of women, take advantage of boys, use their position to oppress before they give you a job. They want to have something with you. Um, you know, they want to record. This man is a man that needs to be dealt with. His cup has overflowed. He has to be dealt with. He has to be put down. They have to deal with him. And hopefully, hopefully they put him in that very bad part of prison. Uh -huh. So that uh, they have to even be careful in prison too, because this kind of man, it's like it's not normal. Like a curse is on him. He might want to try to you know do one or two things with the prison inmates. So men in prison, be careful. Doctor Leke is there. Be careful. Uh, I'm sure that uh, men and women don't meet in prison like that. And uh, if he wants to try, those ones know what to do to him. So guys, that's what it is. I just said, uh, let us, you know, keep ourselves updated and learn one or two things also. And so we can also watch out for ourselves. If you're just coming across this platform, um, please, 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 please tap on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell. And if you've been on this platform, I say thank you and God bless. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.